So let's keep moving. Let's do another one. And this time we have a cubic divided by a linear expression, but notice it's missing its square term. So when we do the long division, we'll have to put a 0x squared on the inside of the box. So let me put our long division box. And on the outside, we put whatever our denominator is here, this x plus 1. And on the inside, we have 3x cubed. And like I mentioned, I'll put a 0x squared plus x minus 11. That way we have every term accounted for. And from here, we just move forward with our division. So we're asking, how many times does x plus 1 go into 3x cubed? Or what can we multiply this by to get a leading term of 3x cubed? And we can multiply by 3x squared. So then we get, when we find a remainder, we'll actually multiply it. So 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. And then we have x squared times 1, which is plus x squared. And here's the importance of putting in this 0x squared. Because if you didn't put this, you would have plus x here, which does not line up with our x squared. Or in other words, they're not like terms, so you'd end up with a much more complicated expression. So putting in that 0x squared as a placeholder allows this subtraction to be much simpler and to make more sense. So as expected, 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0. And then we have 0x squared minus x squared. So that's just minus x squared. And we bring down the next number, which is positive x. Now we repeat the process. How many times does x plus 1 go into this minus x squared plus x? Or what do we have to multiply this by to get this expression or to get the leading term in the expression? And we can multiply by minus x here. And when we do so, minus x times x would be minus x squared. Minus x times 1 would be minus x. And we subtract to find the remainder. Minus x squared plus x squared is 0. And then we have plus x minus negative x, or plus x. And so that would be 2x. And we bring down the minus 11 and repeat the process. Now, we have to multiply this by 2 to get 2x as our leading term. So multiplying by 2, we get 2x, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now we, again, subtract. We need to find that remainder. And 2x minus 2x is 0. Minus 11 minus 2 would be minus 13. And since no other numbers can be brought down, this is our remainder. And so it is our k value in this expression up here. We have our polynomial plus our remainder divided by the original linear expression that we divided by. So it becomes plus, or actually in this case, minus, because it's a negative number. So minus 13 over x plus 1. And at this point, you could check this, just multiply everything that we think is the answer by this x plus 1, what we originally divided by. And you'll see that this will be the correct answer. So let's do one more problem. Just to get a better feel for these, these are long problems, but the process is straightforward and it's the same for all of them. You just need to put in those placeholders if you're missing them. So let me rewrite this as long division. We have x minus 6 and we'll put in our box this 2x cubed minus 13 x squared plus 9x minus 16. And we ask, what can we multiply x minus 6 by to get a leading term of 2x cubed? And if we multiply by 2x squared, that will accomplish that, where now if we find the remainder, the 2x squared will multiply to both of these. We get 2x cubed. And then 2x squared minus 6 would be minus 12x squared. And we subtract. We need to find the remainder now. So as expected, the first terms cancel. And we get minus 13x squared minus negative 12x squared. So minus 13 plus 12 would be minus x squared. We bring down the next number, the plus 9x. And then we move on and repeat the process. So what do we need to multiply x by to get minus x squared? Well, if we multiply everything by minus x, we would match up the leading terms here. And minus x times x would be minus x squared. Minus x times minus 6 would be plus 
6x, and now we subtract. We need to find our remainder. The first terms cancel because we have minus x squared plus x squared. And then we have 9x minus 6x, which is 3x. And we can bring down our minus 16 and repeat this process once more. We need to multiply this by 3 to get this leading term here. So we have plus 3. And we need to find a remainder, so we're going to multiply this original divisor here by 3. And so we get 3x and 3 times minus 6 would be minus 18. And we subtract. We need to find that remainder now. 3x minus 3x is 0. Minus 16 plus 18 would be positive 2. And since there's nothing left to bring down, this is our k value, which is... Our remainder. And so we can write plus 2 over this x minus 6, and this will be our correct answer, though of course we'll want to multiply everything by x minus 6 just to check our work and see if we end up with what's inside this long division box here, this dividend.